Hello, how's everyone? So, I hope that you are all doing fine despite these challenging times. Anyway, we're going to continue studying. So, this lecture video is under Lit to Global Currents in World Literature. Okay, so the literary piece that we're going to talk about and discuss is entitled The Brewery of Eggshells. This is an Ireland folktale. Okay, so of course, let's have the objective why we need to tackle this. So we are going to explore how the wisdom of the young and the oldest member of a particular society is often celebrated in folklore. So this is written on our syllabus. Okay, so of course, we're going to have the summary. Let me read that out to you. A mother, Mrs. Sullivan, looks into her child's cradle and instead of seeing a healthy blue-eyed baby boy, she views a wrinkled and old child. As individuals in her community try to comfort her, she understands that the fairies have taken her baby and replaced him. She had no desire to hurt the child in the cradle. So she followed the instructions of devious woman named Ellen Leia. Ellen instructs her to boil water and to the water add in a dozen eggshells to test if the child is a fairy or her own. If it's a fairy, Mrs. Sullivan is to flame a poker and cram it into the child's throat. Mrs. Sullivan follows these steps and just as she is about to cram the poker into the child's throat, she trips and falls. Finally, when she gets back up and looks into the cradle, she sees her blue-eyed baby peacefully sleeping. So you see, just as she is about to do the biggest thing, she already sees her blue-eyed baby. How could that happen? Okay? Because in this uh, folklore, we have this what we call changeling. Okay? Now, what is a changeling? In European folktales, uh, there were often references to changelings. These were children that were replaced by fairy creatures. These creatures were often older than the child and were not as healthy as the child. In modern society, this may be equality to a child with a disability or illness. So in relation to the folklore we are discussing, note that in the last part, she already sees her blue-eyed baby. So there was already an exchange that happened. Because if you have really read the story, there was this part of that literary piece that serves as the evidence that that old wrinkled baby is a fairy okay all right so what could be the analysis for this one society is often quick to change an individual's identity and morals okay mrs sullivan had no desire to hurt the creature even though she knew it was a fairy okay the suggestions of Ellen initiated Mrs. Sullivan's actions and ultimately fell, failed. Her humanity and her morals were ultimately preserved, even under the pressures of society. Now, going back to the objective why we are tackling and discussing this literary piece, that is, exploring how the wisdom of the young and the oldest member of a particular society is often celebrated in folklore. Let us redefine folklore again. Folklore refers to the tales people tell, folk stories, fairy tales, and even urban legends. Folklore is typically passed down by word of mouth rather than being written in books. Now, in the Philippines, we hear a lot of stories, right? This affects our beliefs and so our practices. Most of our elders in the communities really have at least one story to tell and children because their minds are like sponge, just absorbing what are heard grow carrying this even if science proves that these are not true many children until young adult do these things because they respect the elders because they most likely respect what they say too uh, especially that saying papunta ka pa lang pabalik na kami okay all right 
So, you take note of this literary piece, the so-called changeling. Okay, so let me have my reference for this one. Okay, so I just added my comments regarding this literary piece. So, I hope this helped you in studying this literary piece. So, stay tuned and don't forget to uh, click the like button and subscribe for you to view more literary videos. Thank you so much. Bye!